Hello, welcome guys. So in this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can derive the days of cover or days of supply in two different cases. So let's first start. Before starting, we'll try to understand what are the different parameters that we are going to carry. We are going to use in this particular uh, calculations. So DOC is a days of cover or days of supply. Is your DOS? So both are interchangeable terms and both have same meaning. And if you go in different organization, they call it as a DOC or DOS. Then you have P which is a stock on hand, which is a material which is physically available in your warehouses. EI is your in transit stock or you can say goods in transit, GIT stock. Then your S is your MTD sales. So from the start of the month as on today, whatever your sale happen that against that metal code is your MTD sale. Then adding all this P plus I plus S you will get PIS. PI shortfall against current month, M is current month. So PI shortfall against current month is current month sales plan minus PIS of current as on today basically so let's start with the case one where M plus plan is available you have given a current month plan as well as M plus plan for a particular product so this is a uh, generic name I have taken over here just for example now uh, sales plan is an M is current month plan M plus one is next month plan so you can see current month plan is 200 next month is 250 Against plan of 200, it is available, it is in transit and 110 is already sold. So if you see PIS of this particular SKU is more than 200, which means you have already covered the plan of 200. Okay. Once this 30 will be received or received at warehouses, you, you will always, always you, will be, you will be having already a covered plan against this particular plan. So P plus I is your P plus I is 80 plus 30, 110. PIS is your 80 plus 30 plus 110 which is 220 shortfall in this case is negative it means PIS is negative means you already covered the plan by how much quantities 20 quantities norm is your 15 days which is the inventory that inventory days of cover you want to maintain against your next month plan which is your M plus plan in this case now how we are going to use this norm for the DOC calculation that you will see in next formulas. So this balance plan as on today. So so see how what is balance plan. So balance plan means as on today against the norm. Okay. Balance plan. What is plan basically? In this case, plan is M plus and M and M plus one. These two plans are available. Now adding these two will get how much? 200 plus 250. But norm is for the against second month plan so you want to maintain a 15 days of cover against the plan of 250 now this plan is for one month now 15 days cover means exactly half of the plan of next month you want to have a cover so half of 250 is 125 125 plus 200 is your 325 so 325 is your total plan against them how much is already sold 110 is already sold Against that 110 is already sold. So 25 minus 110 is 215, which is the balance plan against now. And dividing this balance plan, so we you will divide your P plus I by this balance plan. So 110 divided by your 215, you will get exactly 15.3 days of cover. Okay. So this is how you can derive your days of cover when you have M plus 1 and M plan is available. Okay. So the same formula, denominator formula, G plus O into H divided by 30 minus K. Okay. The same formula is your basically balance plan as on today. Okay. So here I have done this dummy calculation where you, I will divide this 110 by your balance plan. You will get same 0.5 and if you multiply this with 30 you will get 15 15.3 so here same 15.3 is getting so we are we are deriving your balance plan as on today against norm if i increase the norm okay then your uh, doc will decrease okay it is 12 point now because i want to maintain a 20 days of cover against m plus one plan okay so in order to have 20 days cover it will be two third of 250 which is your 500 divided by Three, which is around 166.67 now 166.67 plus 200 is 366.67 minus will be whatever your sales sales is 110 so 366 minus 10 is around 
minus 100 is 156.7 so uh, 256.7 which is 257 basically so so 257 divided by your so 110 divided by your 257 is your 12.9 days okay suppose if i increase next month plan from 200 to 300 then again your days of coverage will decrease so it is from 12.9 now now it is 11.4 okay now again we'll play with this p plus i now p plus i p is your again increase 200 then your again days will increase okay because physically stock is more available now that's why days of cover will be higher okay again we'll make it 80 now we will increase in transit again same effect it will be there so you increase by 20 it will become 13.4 so either you increase p or i the effect will be same suppose if you make this 30 again and this 100 again so again both will we will have 13.4 no difference okay only the thing will change okay now let's make it 80 again now let's make a cell increase by 20 now in this case the doc is different okay why doc is different because here the sales is getting subtracted when you are calculating the balance plan as on today against norm so so the 200 plus 300 300 uh, 20 days cover okay which means your uh, two third of two third of 300 which is your 600 divided by 3 is 200 again so 400 minus 130 which is your 270 and your p plus i is again only lesser only so that's why when your sales is increasing denominator which is your balance plan is decreasing okay so basically you make it 150 you can see that balance plan is will decrease by 20 proportionate amount so if earlier you can see that earlier it was 270 when the sales was 130 in current month now i made a sale 150 then it was reduced by proportionate amount and in this case you can see days of cover days of cover when sales was 130 was 12 days of cover when sale increase the days of cover ultimately increase because what because of what basically is your balance plan decrease so these are the all parameters which plays important role to derive your days of cover similarly you can see i have uh, created another variables like coverage so when i say the coverage for a month so it is 130 percent it is saying so it is simply your pis 100 plus 30 plus 150 which is your 260 okay which is approximately 260 now so this is 260 and coverage is 260 is available against 200 means x is available so formula is i plus j plus k which is your pis divided by your g which is your plan so 260 divided by 200 it will be around 130 percent now this excess lying which is your pi shortfall is negative it means you have 60 excess because pis was 260 and plan was 200 so 60 was excess so 60 excess 60 contributes to how much percentage of next month plan which is your 300 so it is one fifth so which is contributed 60 is one fifth of 300 so one fifth is 20 percent that's why your m plus one coverage will be around 20 percent this m plus one coverage in terms of days will be six days one fifth of 30 okay in same way and coverage 132 coverage was 130 percent which means it is 39 days extra coverage from the current month okay so current month nine days extra coverage but for next month there is only six days of coverage this variation is because of I plan in next month. Hopefully, you will be able to understand this thing. So, in current month, over, over and above 30 days, you have 9 days extra cover, but against your next month plan, your coverage is only 6 days. And this 39 will become 36, or, or 6 will become 9 only when this sales plan will become 200. Both the sales plan will be same. So, in this case, 6 will become a 9. Means 9 days extra cover from current month is transferred to next month 
But when plan for next month increases from 200 to let's say 400, this nine days will become five days. It is not actually five days. It is exactly half, which is your 4.5. Okay, because plan was plan was made 400 from 200 in this case. Okay, so second case uh, uh, we'll try to understand now. Second case we don't have M plus one plan. We have a current month plan only. And basis that what is your forward cover we want to calculate and basis that what is the coverage uh, that we want to calculate and basis that how much coverage in terms of percentage and days that we want to know. So, uh, so your current mass sales plan is 100, P plus I is your 35 plus 15 and sales is 55. So, P plus I plus I will be 50 and PIS will be 105. Since PIS is 105 and plan is 100, you have excess of 5. Which is your PI short for M. Now you don't have any norm in this case. Now your DOC, flat DOC will be in this case will be L divided by your G, which is what is physically available against your plan. Okay. So considering uh, so since since here it doesn't matter that on which day you are sitting, what is your shortfall against current plan, what is your balance plan. So it doesn't matter over this case. We are just calculating basis on current month plan because we don't have next month plan with us. So the plan available with us is forward plan for next 30 days. Okay. Which is your 100. Okay. Whatever sales happen in this month that you can ignore. This is basically a forward plan considering as on today. 100 is your forward plan. So against this forward plan, what is your coverage? So what is physically available in transit available? Divided by what is your forward plan, you will get a days of cover. So both the things have a different importance in, in industries. So whenever there is a, a fluctuation uh, on basis of month, you can opt for this method of carrying your DOC. And when you have a forward plan as on today for this month, okay, you have to forget what, what has happened in the past. Then in this case, days of forward coverage in can, can calculate very simply just by dividing your P plus I by current month's plan and coverage in this case is your basically what is your PIS so it is basically uh, uh, your P plus I okay so coverage for this month is basically your P plus I L which is your P plus I divided by your G minus K so here uh, coverage is taking considering your balance sales. Okay, so sales plan minus MPD sale. So coverage against your balance sales is taken. So so basically P plus I is 50 and your balance plan is uh, 55 is already sold. So balance plan is 45 MP. So 50 is available against 45. So it is 111%. And coverage is 33 days. Okay, for the considering balance plan. Now, similarly, you can calculate this coverage for current basis your forward uh, calculation as well. So, let's first of all copy. Now, how we can calculate another way, simple another way. Uh, P plus I directly divided by your sales plan. Okay, this is your coverage. Okay, you have only 50% coverage available right now. Okay, and 50% is nothing but your 15 days. Okay, so 33 days covering coverage, uh, considering your current month sales, or forgetting your uh, uh, a considering your current month sales. And if you once you forget your current month sales and you want to capture forward coverage in percentage, then you have only 15 days cover or 50% cover. So, this is the way uh, how you can calculate the things uh, considering in the both scenarios. So that's all in this video tutorial. In our upcoming video tutorials, we are going to see more such informative videos about supply chain analytics and uh, we'll try to uh, gain the industry perspective, how the companies are you know, managing their inventories, what are the techniques they are using to optimize the same. And stay tuned and if you like my content, you can subscribe my channel and uh, that's all. Thank you.